And just like that, we're back to cloudy weather, windy, and yeah, this is this is pure Michigan right here anyway. So let's get to it. Trailer, truck, van, all that good stuff. What I'd recommend, why I chose the truck and trailer, pros and cons of all of them. Let's get into it. All right guys, so trailer, pros and cons. Pros, space, got so much space. Basically, you guys can, I'm gonna right go here this way. You guys can kind of see all over there. So we got plenty of space in here. I'll link in the description, obviously the, the tool trailer. This is not a workshop. This is just basically hauling with, you know, tools and materials and goods to the job site to make money. So that's what I use it for. That's why it's a pro for me. I can you can build it out however you want to or however less you don't want to there's a cargo van you know it's a cargo trailer for a reason you can throw crap in here you don't have to build it out like i did that way you have space for materials you know full pallets of stuff you know doors all that kind of stuff so it gives you a lot of versatility getting goods and tools and everything to a job site to make money so for me absolutely having the space building it out and I can drop it off. So the, other, the next pro for this, for a trailer, is I can detach it from my tow vehicle and leave it on a job site or leave it somewhere. That way it's a convenient, you know, it's already there for either somebody else to do work. Um, I, I don't have to tow it everywhere. <laughs> That's nice. Uh, it, security wise, you know, as long as you lock it up correctly, you, you it's, it's just convenient. That way you don't have to you're not always hearing your tools in the back of your van clunking around and all that kind of stuff. You can just leave it somewhere. So convenient for really, it's very convenient for sure for that, for that aspect. And we'll get to the, the cons and there's some convenient cons too, but you got space. You can leave it on the job site. If something happens to your tow vehicle, you're not you're not SOL like you would be in a, in a van or just in a truck because you, if you're a truck or your van has to go to the shop, um, that's where all your tools are. You know, you'd have to work out of a secondary vehicle, which really sucks. With the trailer, I can, you know, plan ahead, drop it off at a job site, take my truck to get serviced, go back to the job site. I still have all my tools on the site. I can production can keep going with minor inconveniences. So uh, the next one, as far as a pro for trailers, is I can build it out however I want to. Obviously, I did. We've got solar. We've got you know tool storage everything i built this out to be a rolling home depot lowe's i've got so many so much inventory in here that way i don't have to go to the actual box store every day for something stupid so i can just keep it on site keep it in my inventory and i can i can store some good inventory in a trailer and you, you can it's modular you can always you can build it out however you want to like just like a van would be modular too you can build a van out however you want to as well with these uh, trailers, you can actually buy the one you want and you can size it correctly with vans and trucks. There's only a, they only make certain vans and certain trucks. So trailers, you can get them gooseneck, you can get them 45 foot long, you can get them stackers, you can get them like 10 foot high. You can, you can get big trailers, which I don't need that, but you may. So just the customizability is fantastic with trailers. I do enjoy it. Um, and then the main thing for me also is material. When you get a 16 foot trailer, you can haul 16 foot material. So that's great for me. I, I can just go wherever I need to, throw the 16 foot material in. It saves money, it's, it's more efficient. For me, a trailer is more efficient for a job site. Having everything where I need it to, I absolutely love it for sure. So that is all the, I mean, that's the main pros. There's a lot of them, but those are the main uh, pros for a trailer. Cons. It's a pain in the butt to tow it around all the time. Come on, let's be realistic. It, it absolutely is. Now, I do have an F450 as a tow vehicle, so I'll be driving it and I'll be like, you, you forget that you have it behind you because this trailer only weighs less than 7,000 pounds, so for that truck is nothing. So I do forget. I'm like, oh, like I parked in like a Home Depot or Lowe's just thinking I was just, just driving my truck, and then I look back and there's the trailer sticking out in the middle of the, the, little, the little road area. So, yeah, whoops. 
Anyways, I was that kind of guy. <laughs> I was like, all right, I gotta pull through and make sure that the trailer's not sticking out and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, trailer's inconvenient to tow around. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to go through drive throughs because I have the ladder rack and everything. Uh, it's just, I mean, uh, it's just, it, it is a little inconvenient. There's more, it's more axles on the ground. So, yeah, I just spent a thousand bucks replacing all the leaf springs, all the bearings, all the brakes on this thing. Uh, yeah, I went right through it. So, and like a whole day and a half of lift, <laughs> cutting stuff off because everything's rusted here in Michigan. So more axles, a little bit more maintenance. Yeah, you got to pay registration for it, but you'd have to do that without the truck and the um, the van anyway as well. Uh, it's you know they, it, this is a rolling billboard, so that is actually a pro. I'll put, you know it's a rolling billboard. You can use it to advertise, but also it you know it's like these are pretty easy to get into as far as theft is concerned. So. You know, inland marine policy, insurance, get insured, all that kind of stuff. So the the cons would be it's inconvenient sometimes, or a lot of times, but for me it's a necessary evil. Also, if I was a if I had an urban environment that I lived in where I did urban stuff uh, for service, I would not be towing a trailer around. It'd be honestly, it'd be a truck or a van, most likely a van. But yeah, you know, trailers in an urban urban setting are just really inconvenient for sure so that's why i don't work in detroit it's just it's so compact so that would be the pros for me as well uh, maintenance um they're inconvenient you have, always have to tow them you have to have a tow vehicle that's another thing you have to have a tow vehicle that can actually tow it so you're not gonna build just a car or a small small truck that doesn't have the weight capability so that would be the the main you know the cons for this maintenance you know all that kind of stuff so keep in mind but those would be my pros and cons for a trailer five four three two one all right trucks the main one damn three two one all right trucks obvious they're convenient you need a vehicle anyway might as well buy a truck boom you just got yourself a personal vehicle and a work vehicle how about that so and that's one of the reasons why i, I have a truck I started out with trucks because it's super convenient. You can throw a ladder rack on them, carry out what you need. No big deal. Super convenient. Not efficient. We'll get it. We'll get into the cons, but they're not the extremely efficient. But if you get a four-door truck, you can haul around your kids. You can haul around people and obviously tools at the same time and or swap it out and take care of your business and then take everything out. And then now you have a four-seater, five-seater truck to haul around family. So very convenient. Uh, that's the way I rolled when I first started out, you know, truck, back seat, carried around a bunch of, uh, you know, tools. And then I, if I need to, I can clean it out, haul around family, all that kind of stuff. So this is obviously a 450, but whatever truck you have, they do come in four wheel drive. I don't know if you guys know this or not. A lot, a lot more trucks come in four wheel drive than vans do. Now I know Ford Transit's have an all wheel drive option as of like a year or so ago. So, but when I got into the business, finding a four four by four van which here in michigan it's pretty you need you need four by four um unless you want to get stuck a lot it was it's hard you have to go a third party to get an aftermarket kit installed it costs about 10 grand not exactly ideal on top of the cost of the van itself so yeah that's that wasn't an option for me anyway so you buy yourself a truck you have a personal vehicle and it doubles as your work vehicle so pretty 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 solid choice in my opinion I mean, it's it's super convenient. I'll say that you can you know drop everything off. You can get into drive-throughs, all that kind of stuff. This one you can't go through car washes, but you know a regular a regular uh, a uh, regular truck can. And yeah, so it's just they're they're fantastic. I absolutely love trucks. They're addicting and they're super convenient. Four by four, pretty easy to work on, especially when a Ford. <laughs> So uh, that would be all the pros for me for having a truck. Um, and the cons would be inefficient. Your lack of storage, you're gonna have to do some modifications. They do make aftermarket, you know, like decked. You, get, you buy yourself a ladder rack. Uh, there's ways to do it, but you're, you know, you have a bed that's out and you're gonna need something to cover your tools, all that kind of stuff, and to secure your tools. So a little less secure than a, a van or a trailer because of the bed being open to the elements. And you know you have to help make sure everything's covered up behind in your bed because weather. So that would be my cons for a truck. 
not much space and it's inefficient to tr you know throw a couple boxes out or you know toolboxes to find something or crawling into your bed to get the stuff not nearly not nearly as efficient as a van or a trailer so that's my truck pros and cons all right vans pros and cons pros vans are extremely convenient they keep all your tools dry which is very important to me it's a basically a rolling box with an engine and it's secure you know you click a one button everything locks up it's great i know everybody you know everybody can say oh you can get to anything as far as a thief's can. i get it but at the same time you're not gonna you know if you throw something in the back of your truck it's a lot less secure than if you throw something in the back of your van and lock it right so <clears throat> rolling billboard i'd say if you're in a service oriented business a van is a no-brainer uh, you just you know you, you can stock it with whatever service materials you need to and go to the job site you don't have to worry about a trailer um, fantastic i absolutely um vans have been you know i've been always looking hard looking at vans but i need to be, have haul that third person fourth person every once in a while i need four wheel drive so those back in the day that's that was the kickers why i didn't choose a van so great there's a lot of pros for vans but we'll get into the cons here right now the main one for me is four by four and if i need to carry that third passenger it was not going to happen with a van so and another would be you know it's a dedicated work vehicle so depending on if you have the overhead available if you have the means to do a dedicated work vehicle at that time i did not and you know, it's you, you gotta have the insurance uh liability you know additional vehicle maintenance all that kind of stuff i mean it adds up for sure so but with that i refer you to the pros it's 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 very nice having a van <laughs> so you can be super organized and get stuff done super efficiently and make money so other than that, you know, four by four, not being able to haul people around when I need to. And that's why I didn't choose a van. It is what it is. Let me know in the comment section below, you guys, why you chose a van if you have a van. All right, guys, that's the video. A truck, a trailer, or a van. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. You're going to have to go through, you know, what, what overhead you can afford, what's con convenient, what your business requires, room for growth. Um, I know everything can be modified. Yeah, I know every, but everything can be modified. I can make a, a van kick ass way better than a small tra uh, trailer, or I can make a truck super upfitted and basically better than a, a van. I, I get it. I, let me know in the comment section below. There, they, there's some third parties modifications out there that are super, they're just amazing. So let me know in the comment section below, guys. I appreciate it, and we'll see you on the next video.